Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to my channel. Is Airlink better than virtual desktop? Can't get more straightforward than that can we? So let's get straight into it then and remember we're born to respawn. If you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please hit that like button. The algorithm loves the likes. And maybe do all the other stuff that's popping up around me right now. Oculus version 28 software is currently rolling out across the globe. With that, we get access to Airlink, the long-anticipated wireless game streaming solution from Oculus. So what is Airlink, and can it compete with the current king of wireless game streaming, Guy Godin's virtual desktop app? Let's find out, eh? I'm a massive fan of virtual desktop and I've done many videos on the subject, including this video here. This content is always well received and accounts for over half a million views on my channel alone. Virtual desktop costs £15 or $20 in the US and there's a feature rich app that goes way beyond just game streaming, allowing you to control every aspect of your linked PC. I use virtual desktop in conjunction with OBS to record most of the content for my channel. So for me, it is an essential app that helps with content creation. Airlink is Oculus's own game streaming service, but before we start, how do you get it and how do you set it up? Firstly, this will only work if you have the Quest 2. Sorry to all the original Quest owners and I don't understand why they've done that, but there we are. How do you know if you have the version 28 software? Open the Oculus app on your PC. Go to settings, then general. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and make sure you have the version 28 software. If you do, scroll back up, click on the beta option and move the Airlink slider to on. On your quest, go to settings, scroll down to about, then make sure you also have the version 28 software on your headset. Go to the experimental features and there it is, Airlink. Go ahead and click that, then this warning will appear. Airlink is an early access feature that is in development and will continue to improve. Performance will vary greatly based on your PC specs and network conditions. Requirements. Only use Airlink on a secure Wi-Fi network that you trust. Use a 5 GHz network on an AC or AX wireless router. router. Connected to your PC via an Ethernet cable. Make sure that your PC meets the Oculus Link requirements. The following are known issues that cause performance problems. Using a PC connected wirelessly to your network, using a mesh or 2.4 GHz network. Click continue and the Oculus Airlink feature will appear. Click that, choose which PC you want to connect to, then hit pair, then launch. This will open the Oculus Home on your PC. If you then click the Oculus Airlink button here, you can quit or change the bitrate to dynamic or fixed. For the purpose of this video, I've left it on dynamic. And that is it, Oculus Airlink up and running. That was super easy, wasn't it? How does it perform? Well, again, this all depends on your PC and network, as discussed in the disclaimer. The stated recommended spec for running Oculus Link is an Intel i5, NVIDIA GTX 1060, or the equivalent, and eight gigabits of RAM. Your network needs to be an 802.11ac Wi-Fi 5 or AX Wi-Fi 6 router, router, and your PC should be connected to the same network via an ethernet cable. So basically, if you already have virtual desktop running, you should be fine with Airlink. And if this is your first time trying game streaming, just follow the guidelines I've mentioned. For the purpose of this test, I'll be running both virtual desktop and Airlink with the bitrate set to variable dynamic. For those interested, I will flash my virtual desktop settings up now. Just pause the video if you want to go into more depth or check out the video I mentioned at the beginning. The link is in the description below. I will be playing Population 1 for fast-paced PvP action. Onward, because I like Onward. And finally, the mother of all VR games, the beast that is Half-Life Alex. For reference, all footage is recorded using OBS. Excited? I know I am. So let's get into it.
I think that the graphics on virtual desktop had a more granular feel, but Airlink seemed to have more vibrant colour and contrast. What did you think? Did you see any difference in the streaming quality? Get involved and comment down below. So what was my experience then? Well, Airlink worked really well, right out of the box. It's an easy to use option with a very simple UI. If you just want to fire up PC and Quest 2 and get straight into the action, then yes, it is a great weapon in your Oculus's arsenal. Is it better than virtual desktop though? Well, no and yes at the same time, let me explain. Airlink is solely for game streaming and as part of the Oculus UI, it is a streamlined and free alternative to virtual desktop's very heavyweight skill set. So, if you want an easy to use option for playing all your PC VR, that's very simple to set up and absolutely free, then Airlink is for you. If, however, you're a content creator like me, don't mind paying £15 or $20 US and need to be able to control your PC while wearing your headset, then Virtual Desktop is the essential app that you need. Simple. Do you agree with my conclusion? Have you used Airlink and Virtual Desktop? Which side of the fence are you on? For me, this is a great step forward for VR and I'll get more users into PC VR and playing wirelessly. Whether you use Airlink to do that or stick with virtual desktop is up to you. Oculus have just handed you another option to enjoy your Quest 2 and I'm fully behind them for having the balls to do it. Now, on to being able to play wirelessly with 120Hz enabled. That would be something, wouldn't it? You can already do that with version 1.20.4 of virtual desktop. Really? Over to you, Oculus. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content and found it helpful, please leave a like. The algorithm loves the likes. And also consider subscribing. You can also support the channel on Patreon or by buying some of my stylish merchandise from tshirtstudio.com. Keep an eye on the community page of my YouTube channel as I regularly stream on my Mate Surgical's Twitch channel. Check it out here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.